When Airbus introduced the A380, they believed they had created an unstoppable giant set to eclipse the reign of the 747. Despite a staggering $25 billion in investment and sky-high ambitions, airlines began to distance themselves from the A380 because of its overwhelming operational costs. As a result, Airbus ended the era of the king in 2021 by itself. Yet, just when the world was ready to forget, it reappeared in the skies. Whispers of its resurgence growing louder, leaving many wondering, will the giant be back? And how did the king, once declared a failure, suddenly re-emerge in the skies? Let's find the truth in today's episode. Let's see what is the reason this aircraft ended. When launching the A380 program in 2000, Airbus aimed to challenge the dominance of the Boeing 747. This was the primary and largest goal of the manufacturer. However, Airbus became so focused on this objective that it overlooked many potential factors that could complicate the new aircraft's success. In fact, many aviation experts have warned Airbus about the risks associated with pursuing this program. Even Boeing, its biggest competitor from the US, warned about the potential dangers of large aircraft. Nevertheless, Airbus remained determined to proceed with the A380, and in October 2007, the first aircraft was delivered to Singapore Airlines. Initially, the orders for this jumbo jet gave Airbus confidence that it was on the right track. However, over time, reality became clear. The market did not embrace this aircraft as Airbus had hoped, evidenced by a decline in orders, cancellations, switches to other aircraft models, and a significant drop in overall sales. Ultimately, Airbus recognized that the initial warnings were accurate. The core issue preventing the A380 from meeting expectations lies in several factors. What are they? Firstly, the enormous production costs posed a significant challenge. Manufacturing it required substantial labor, materials, and infrastructure investments, leading to long-term economic unsustainability. Additionally, Airbus designed the jumbo jet based on a hub and spoke operational model, but as airlines shifted towards a more flexible point-to-point -point model, it gradually became outdated. Its oversized dimensions also limited its operational capabilities to just over 100 airports worldwide, making it difficult for airlines to schedule flights flexibly. Finally, the heaviest factor was that the A380's engines were inefficient and consumed a lot of fuel. As newer, more fuel-efficient wide-body aircraft with similar range capabilities emerged, these aircraft in commercial aviation declined significantly. The result is Airbus announcing that they will stop producing this aircraft after delivery of the last one for Emirates. When the pandemic spreads and makes air travel unavailable, the life of A380 is determined when many airlines decided to retire it because of high maintenance. However, recent developments have surprised the entire industry as the A380 appears to be making a strong comeback with airlines competing for the remaining units in the market. What could be causing this shift in the industry? The pandemic accelerated the decline of the A380 as many national airlines announced their plans to completely retire this aircraft model. Additionally, the secondary market that many had hoped for these massive planes has nearly vanished due to a shift towards smaller, more fuel-efficient aircraft with long-range capabilities, such as the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, meaning that the only options left are retirement and dismantling for recycling. As the pandemic subsided, the number of passengers flying began to rise again. According to the International Air Transport Association, passenger traffic steadily recovered from 2022, reaching 94.1% of pre-pandemic levels by 2023. International travel also rebounded to 88.6% compared to 2019. This robust recovery forced airlines to seek additional aircraft to meet demand, leading those who had retired the A380 to reconsider bringing them back. So, Lufthansa announced plans to return its entire jumbo jet fleet to service by the end of 2025, committing to operate them at least until 2030 and upgrading their business class cabins. Similarly, Singapore Airlines confirmed it would bring back all 12 of its A380 after investing over $850 million to upgrade them. Similarly, Emirates has reaffirmed its commitment to maintaining the aircraft for at least the next decade. In 2023, the airline's CEO stated that the King would continue to be a vital part of Emirates' strategy and network for the next 10 years. In addition to Emirates, airlines such as Qatar Airways, British Airways, Etihad Airways, and Korean Air have also confirmed plans to bring it back into service. According to you, does this impact the future of other huge aircraft in the industry? 
So besides the rising travel demand, what other factors might be driving the unexpected resurgence of this aircraft model? The first reason, and perhaps the most significant, is Boeing. Another reason for the A380's resurgence is Boeing's delays with the 777X. Introduced in 2013 with hopes of entering service by 2020, it has faced numerous certification setbacks, delaying deliveries until 2025 and being confirmed in 2026 recently. This has forced airlines like Emirates with 205 orders and Singapore Airlines with 31 orders to seek alternatives. Emirates, frustrated by the delays, publicly voiced dissatisfaction. As a result, while waiting for the 777X, these airlines have had to continue operating their existing A380 fleets to maintain their operations and cover the shortfall. In addition to the delays with the 777X, the Boeing 787 Dreamliner is also causing significant issues in the commercial aviation industry. Boeing has faced numerous challenges that have led to considerable delays in the delivery of this aircraft model. On April 20th, 24, the company announced a shortage of supply for several critical components, resulting in a slowdown in production and deliveries. This disruption has thrown many airlines' plans into disarray, forcing them to continue utilizing their existing fleets. This situation also helps explain the recent surge in interest in the Airbus A380. As Boeing's setbacks pile up, is it time to trust the A380 again or hold out for the 777X? Additionally, issues related to quality control of Boeing's wide-body aircraft have made many airlines hesitant to place orders at this time. It is only when they regain confidence in the safety and reliability of these aircraft models that new purchases can proceed. In the meantime, airlines may opt for a temporary solution by utilizing available Airbus huge planes to meet the growing demand. So is that it? Surprisingly, a new factor has emerged that is driving the revival of the Airbus A380. A significant contributor to this resurgence is the introduction of an airline solely operating this aircraft model. Global Airlines, a startup, plans to use this jumbo jet on routes from London Gatwick to New York and Los Angeles, with operations expected to begin in 2025. The airline has purchased four Airbus giant aircraft, including aircraft previously operated by China Southern and Singapore Airlines. The possibility of the Airbus A380 returning as a cargo aircraft is entirely feasible. After Chinese authorities indicated they are considering converting existing this huge aircraft into freighters to meet the growing air cargo demand, this prospect has become more viable. China has also announced plans to utilize it for strategic missions such as aerial refueling and other military transport operations. If these plans succeed, it could present a significant opportunity for this aircraft to remain operational and continue flying longer than initially expected. The question arises, whether Airbus will reconsider its decision to cease production of the A380. One plausible scenario is that Airbus could restart the production line and equip it with new, more powerful, and fuel-efficient engines. So let's see what a prominent candidate is. To facilitate the A380's return, equipping it with a new engine is crucial. Currently, it offers two options. The Rolls-Royce Trent 900 and the GP7000 from the Engine Alliance, both of which are considered inefficient. In this context, Rolls-Royce has developed the promising Ultrafan engine over the past decade. Designed with a high bypass ratio, it promises up to 25% fuel savings compared to previous generations, thanks to a geared architecture that allows the fan to spin more slowly than the compressor and turbine. Rolls-Royce has tested this engine with thrust capabilities ranging from 25,000 to 110,000 pounds, which can adequately power the A380, requiring about 280,000 pounds of total thrust during takeoff. However, the ultrafan may not need to be operated at maximum power to avoid overload. Its efficiency could persuade Airbus to consider this option. Yet, installing the new engines might necessitate redesigning the wings to ensure the engine pylons are safely structured. This redesign could also involve adjustments to the fuselage and other structural changes. These modifications would be costly and time-consuming, requiring recertification from both the FAA and EASA for the jumbo jet. This is feasible, but Airbus must ensure that airlines are likely to order the re-engine aircraft before investing in the project. The A380's resurgence could lead Airbus to revisit the 1000 version, which would add 200 seats for a total capacity of over 1000 passengers. Although ambitious, the growing interest and robust aviation growth in markets like India and China 
could give Airbus the confidence to pursue this expanded version. Do you love this return? And we have a question for you. Is this unexpected resurgence of the A380 a sign of its second coming, or will the aviation giant meet the same fate once again? Please let us know by leaving a comment below. Thanks, and wish you always have safe flights.